Of course that guy is gonna attack me. So we're gonna... <laughs> oh, I hate it when they phase through each other. Oh, I hate it so much. It's just annoying. Whew, so how much time do I need to level up again? Oh my good god, it's gonna take me forever. So hopefully I explained the chamber ring properly. Good. Oh, all's good, ship's bad. Then don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, oh, changed all skyboxes in code, changed some terrain border textures, updated some other terrain textures, removed some of the ugly trees from some terrain borders, prohibited player indictment by pretender, Rob is now very slightly easier to defend at the Red Wedding, I increased the price of cows when purchasing from villages. And this is to alleviate uh, the buying and slaughtering exploit. Okay. Dorna Sand Cavalry are now guaranteed a shield. Uh, with troops are now much faster. Withs have higher HP, but do something. Okay. But do less damage, maybe, or I don't know. I heard that uh, the White Walkers received the buff or something like that. Thanks, Gypsy Fed. There we go. I think we won only once in the arena in a world of ice and fire. And that was in my last playthrough. Let's see if miracles happen twice. And it was a as a much higher level, definitely. No. Okay, stay as close to him as possible. He can deal much damage if you stay close. And he chambered. As you saw there, he chambered, but I managed to block with the shield in time. Okay, give me... Dodge spear. Yeah, most likely the last part of the change log that you copied got lost messages in the chat can only be so long if I recall correctly holy fuck and a chambering got me killed of course <sighs> that's 15 enemies do I get more money no just 75 right let's just visit the Lord's Hall and talk with my boy Rob hello Robbie urgent news I'm gonna try to skip over the dialogue because we already did that in the previous playthrough and nothing changed from it. And we're gonna go. What's the next next quest? Must make sure the lady. No. Ah, uh, must find the farm north of Winterfell and remove the wildling raiders. Once complete, return to King Rob Stark. I don't think we have either the men or the equipment to do it, so. That's going to be a little bit annoying. With 610, what the hell can I do with 610 gold? How much for furs here? 230, I see. So maybe the solution now will not will be to not go over 230. Uh, sorry, 250 uh, with buying furs. Or maybe not go over 300 and then not sell under 400. It'll all depend. It'll all depend what prices we find back in south, back to the south when we take the furs. And taking the furs to the south will be annoying at the beginning. Because that's how a world of ice and fire is. Hmm. Hello, Aralane. Welcome back to the end, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, I scratch myself a lot. It's because of the beard. Oh yeah, I am going to go to Barrington and Castle Black as well. We are going to go northeastwards here. And also, I'm, I'm getting scratchy because I'm slightly getting sweaty. So let's go north. Oh, hello, Outlaws. 6.2. Well, I'm 8.1, motherbuckers. Can't catch this. Can't touch this. Ah, oh, yeah. 
northern oh god lord john umba you scared the jesus out of me i assume that's the farmstead okay yet we won't be able to oh, oh, oh my good god good says yes goodbye uh, ho 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 let's keep on going loyalist supporters from a nearby village have gathered and a, a bounty of food for your troops we got some cabbage why though okay how is it to have a beard huh I guess the best way to describe it is having a woolen hat on your face, Erlaine. But not as uncomfortable and not as itchy. Let's go with that. Let's go check the inn. Nightwatch recruits. Now, those are some people that I like to grab. Uh, but I would give all of my money for them. Yes, we have to. Well, not all of the money, but some of the money. Most of the money. Money. Alright. Get out. Arms vendor. Shepherd's Crick. Shortbow. You know, 651, I could make that money if I get good at arenas. Ah, uh, no fire arrows? Really? Oh, that's going to be annoying. Hmm? Good game. Up. Uh, okay, Aralane. Have a good day and thanks for stopping by. Good talk. Good talk. Righto, let's go. 211 for the furs here. Okay, so I guess this is one of the better locations where to buy furs. We might... I, I had no idea. Oh uh, yeah, it might be get good as well. I don't know, Thorn. Anyway, um, I don't think we can take the furs from the north this early in the game. We're most likely going to get caught... And if I'm on foot, uh, brother, are we going to be getting ourselves murderalized? So, that'll simply mean that we need more training grounds. I'm not seeing a better way of making money right now. Practically, what we need now is we need to get a horse. We need to get some uh, decent weaponry, preferably a bow and arrow. And then, in theory, we should be able to take out some of the enemies that we're going to be facing in the early game. In theory. Because until now, I just went with a horse and dealt with them in melee combat. Sadly, that never really went very well. It's... it's it probably ended up with my horse dying and me getting slain and then taken prisoner and crying and then you saw me sob on the stream and then everybody started pitying me and it would have been awkward for everyone. Uh, but this time we're going to equip a bow and arrow. We'll see how that's going to work out. I, okay, maybe I over-dramatized a bit. Just a bit. A, 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 a smidge of a drama. Okay, but... It, it went kind of around that ballpark, okay? Oh, shit. You sneaky little cunt. There. Whew. Fuck, these guys know how to swing in that spear. I'm kind of tempted to grab one. I am the long spear now. Oh, thank the Lord. Yeah, I... <laughs> it's it's going to take forever to kill them that way. No, thank you. Um, I like the pole arm weapons that have blunt damage. I like the pole hammers for... From the Floris mod, for example. Um, but I usually don't like spears. Especially, especially in combination with a shield. 
Oh, no. Oh, pff. mm, -mm. mm, -mm. Practically being forced to do stabbing damage all the time. No, sorry, not stabbing damage. Stabbing attack all the time. It's just destructive. Dude, that dude, that dude looks like he doesn't have eyes. It's kind of creeping me out. Okay, uh, mustache, beard, what's going on with you today? Why do you scratchy scratchy? Sorry, why do you itchy itchy me and make me scratchy scratchy you? All of a sudden, is this stress? <gasps> Might be. Oh boy, I am grinding the levels and the money now, literally. Hmm. Wonder if there are any good quests out there that I could do that would give me some decent cash and money for easy. Let's try to do a summary of the quests. So there's the cattle quest. There's the um, find bandits, kill bandits from the guildmaster. There's the train the peasants quest. But that means we'll ha also have to defeat the enemy afterwards. Um, what else? There we go. Deliver a message quest, which can take us to the edge of the world and back. Oh yeah, give me wheat quest, which wouldn't be that difficult to do, because wheat is pretty exp pretty cheap. I've seen sacks of grain go for uh, even 21 stags, so that's pretty insane. There we go. Watch my six. Deal with the spearmen. Good. And uh, I think that's it. That's pretty much. Oh yeah, I I'm, I haven't seen that quest in ages. But there's another quest where you where the guildmaster tells you to deliver a certain amount of trade goods to another city in a certain amount of time. But I haven't seen that quest in. Ages. The last time I did that quest, I think it was in Flores. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God he grunted. And I got smacked. I don't know, Shipsy Fed. Don't remember. 175 silver stags. Man, really scraping it up slowly, huh? Okay, strength 12. Hopefully, Lothic. But no, yeah, it's pretty cool in this one. I just wish... Uh, I feel like it's fair. I just wish uh, the AI did not phase through each other. I'd like for the spearmen to not be able to stab through their companions so they can attack the enemy in front of them. And beyond them. It's slightly on the annoying side. Okay. Let's go with... I guess just more power strikes, just more combat stats. I think that's going to be the best way to go through things right now. How much money did we gather? 469? We need 651 for the short bow, and that doesn't even cover the expense for the, um, what you call it, for the arrows. Well, that's that's the only thing that I annoys me, Deathborn, the phasing. That's it. Beyond that, just I don't care. I like that the enemy can chamber sometimes. I like that they parry. I like that they fake out. I like that they think a bit, you know? Hey, Inquidius, welcome back to the end, dude. Stubborn, scabby donkey. Hmm. Really? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Okay. 
Oh, th well, that's a good way to make money, I guess. Participate in a tournament, but we still need some decent gear to do that. I definitely need a sword and a better shield. At least. At least. And the bone arrow will just increase our chances from there. Swayed back Rousey, lame donkey. Improves foraging skills by being in the inventory. I feel like this is a bad idea, but... As if the donkey can keep me away from foot soldiers and give me time to shoot them down, uh, the scabby donkey could work. Actually, no. I'm going to go with the lame donkey. Because once we get a better horse, the lame donkey will improve our foraging skills. So yeah, that's what that's going to be the plan. We're going to gather enough money for the lame donkey. Uh, once we get the lame donkey, we're going to try to gather money for um, a bow and arrow. And in theory... We should be able to solo certain types of soldiers, certain types of mobs after that. In theory. Uh, but uh, you know how theories in a world of ice and fire work? They don't. Okay. They haven't been, haven't been able to phase through each other at that time. That's good. I like that. Thank you, good sir. You're a peach. And that one phased. Oh, yes. Give me that damage. There. Step it down, brother. Okay. I don't agree with that swing, but I gotta take it. I know it's slightly boring to see me get my ass kicked in arenas over and over again, but... There is no reliable way of making money right now without wasting a lot of time and most likely getting taken prisoner several times and getting effed in the ass and most likely lose a left arm and then things get awkward. And then pay, you know, injury prices for doctors and then forget about the injuries and don't heal them and then get scars. Ah, uh, just... It's a downward spiral towards destruction, trust me. I don't know, Deadly Patrick, how do you feel? I'm feeling better, though. Leaving Joseph aside, I am feeling better. As you can see, I'm streaming, thus I'm capable of doing normal work and going on with my daily life. Alright. Ah, give me that shield, please. Okay, keep an eye on my six. There. Son of a... Somehow, he... I don't know, he, he swung faster than me? I'm, I'm not really sure what happened over there. The fat thing? What fat thing, Patrick? What are you talking about, dude? I wonder if having a bow and arrow in the arena will make things incredibly easier. Yeah, I have no idea what he's talking about, Deathborn. Also, Deadly Patrick, did you remember, once you started your World of Ice and Fire playthrough, did you remember to modify the difficulty settings in the camp menu? Because that's a thing that needs doing. Son of a... Nope, that's a Nova Ethos, I think. I remember that your character can become fat in Nova Ethos. But yeah, be careful when you, when you start that new game in A World of Ice and Fire, it defaults everything on max difficulty. Deadly Patrick, so go to your camp menu, go to options, and put the difficulty as you want it. Because, I don't know why I'm mentioning it to you, Deadly Patrick, but I feel like you didn't know that. I'm not sure, I don't think you can turn off wounds. Ah, oh, thank god. Yeah, I kind of thought you might. 
We all agree that you're not the sharpest tool in the shed. Hmm, enemy is close. I saw him coming. I could hear you, brother. Okay, oh, there's another one. All right. Come on. Don't start pulling that shit on me. Whew. Ah, damn that chambering. So annoying. Hmm. I don't think we've ever went above 16 uh, killed recruits. Yeah, I agree with that as well, Deathborn, but it's a percentage chance. There's a percentage chance on each hit that you're going to get injured. On each hit. On any hit in on the field of battle. Wow. Okay, and why do you say that you fucked up your character? At that, at that time, yes. See? Oh, I can't wait to increase my one-handed proficiency a bit. I gotta masturbate a little bit more. Get that up, 139. Yes, yes, that is true. I remember, I think, I think it was in my last playthrough, the first battle, the first hit that I received, BAM, injury, minus one to strength, right off the bat, it was glorious, and annoying as hell. Well, then you're just gonna have to kill everything, Patrick. Okay, let's get my bearings. There. Next enemy. It's lovely when you get injured and captured at the same time so you can't even visit a maester. Yes, indeed. That's how I forgot about one of my injuries and I didn't heal it. And it it got to be it's got to be a permanent scar. Killing. Definitely killing, Patrick. Especially with the nerfs to fur. Exactly. Practically I'm forced to fight in the arena until I don't know. I have enough money to pay the doctor for my for my health bills. Oh my god damn it. Oh, I chambered by mistake, but I chambered. Hey, I chambered again. Somehow. Hello, slightly differently haired old man. <sighs> I'm so happy that I chambered twice in my life. <laughs> Uh, the dungeon you found in Skyrim, by the way, um, on the way to the Greatbeards, goes on forever. Are you in a Dwemer ruin, by chance? And your mod makes it hard as fuck having to some cheese here. There's like one-shot stealth kills by slitting their throats. Gotta do what you gotta do, brother. You practically made it that way yourself. Ah, that phasing technology. Mm, mm. Glorious. Realistic as fuck. Just gave? Okay, dude. It'll be fine. Oh my god, that guy's fast as fuck. Veteran fighters. I just can't handle them. 
Once you get uh, off the medics, you only have to pay 180 stacks for the wounds instead of 300. Yeah, true. Okay, how much money did we gather by getting our asses beat? 679? Eh, things have become so tedious. Alright, Lame Donkey has been acquired. Now we just need... A little bit more for that short bow. I know, everybody's rolling their eyes right now. But I am open to other suggestions. And after we get the short bow, we also need arrows. So most likely, we're gonna need to go back to Winterfell to find said arrows. Get the fuck off me! I'm, I'm used to late game playthroughs where my boy can swing faster than anybody else on the field of battle. My god, does it, feel, does, it, does it feel good when you can outswing anybody? So, currently I'm slightly annoyed of my, about my low level prowess. Uh, Wildcat doesn't seem consistent with the damage. Uh, sometimes a bow will almost one-shot you, but you can never do that yourself. Well... It seems to be. It seems to be that the stacks are, <laughs> that the odds are stacked against your favor, my man. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to fix that. You're gonna have to find a way to balance shit out and make it enjoyable for yourself. I am definitely making things enjoyable for myself, as you can see. When you do that tactic, you have to get your money killing two or three dudes per arena, so you're mighty fast with your money gathering. Oh, so you just kill two or three dudes, you receive uh, 15 stags, and you keep on repeating. That sounds annoying. I'd much more prefer to try and win the arena itself. Besides the fact that you passively receive experience for it, you also have the chance of gaining a lot of cash. A lot of moolah. Sadly, I think it's just 250 in this one, or 500. I hope to Jesus that it's 500 in a World of Ice and Fire. Oh, I love one-shotting people. But most likely that guy got injured from one of the other duels that he had around here. Okay. Give me arming sword. You like how when the arena commanders defeat you, they just stare to one another and cease fighting? Of course, of course they do, because the world conspires against me. They fear the future king of the Seven Kingdoms. Alright, give me that shield. Okay, spear fuck. Getting get close and personal with you. Hello, and I'm a bandito. Welcome back to D&D. The only time you beat the arena in this mod is with a bow and arrow. Huh. I kicked by mistake. I... Uh, around 800... 80% uh, 800, of the times, I forget that a kick exists in this game. In this game in general, not in the World of Ice and Fire. Kicks in Mountain Blade exist. Oh, usually I remember uh, the kick button when I try to do a this is Sparta joke and try to push an enemy off the ledge. Looking at you, old man, I will definitely push you off the edge. And it's most likely going to make you telepathic and psychic and make you see the past while being in a wheelchair. And probably you're going to go bald and form a school for kids with special powers. Now shut up, it happens all the time. The only time you beat it is when they leave you alone for the whole arena and the last guy comes to you. Well, problem is, even if I stay in one place like this, most of them will try to gang up on me. As you clearly can see. But maybe you're right. Maybe you have the right idea, Shipsy Fine. Maybe I should stop flailing around so much and hold, hold, keep my ground in a certain side of the arena. Try to keep my ground in a location where I know that the enemies don't spawn close. Maybe somewhere around here. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. Ooh, nice. 
Okay, keep an eye on everything. Wild enemy from the wild bushes appears. Alright. Yeah, let's try to keep doing this. It's going to take longer, sadly, because we're not actively seeking out the enemy. And we're waiting for them to come over here. Some, Sometimes we're going to get lucky and they're going to kill each other. Sometimes... They're going to gang up on me and the chamber me to death. It does. It does. I just stated that myself, man. Hell, I guess we're leveling up. Wop, wop. Oh, right. So, so we're at Castle, Castle Black. I should uh, give the prisoner away to the Night Watch. Because we can. We're in the area. Well, now that the cow nerfs have been received... Hmm... I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I prefer a Clash of Kings simply because it's less tedious with the world. Although, a Clash of Kings has a tedious moment as well, I'm not gonna deny. It's a bitch to deal with uh, heavily armored enemies in that one. There are certain thresholds that you need to reach and touch. To be, to be capable of dealing with enemies properly. Uh, but I haven't explored a Clash of Kings enough yet. I haven't reached Kingdom stage with a Clash of Kings. So in the current stage, in, in my current situation with the lack of research that I have, I have to say that I prefer a World of Ice and Fire. Simply because I have the better, the better knowledge. Lost. Lost my focus. Not gonna blame it on you guys, because I was the one who lost her focus and didn't keep my eyes on the fight. You can visit Village Elders to get 100 experience per village and get some early levels before doing arenas. What do you mean you get experience by talking to Village Elders? Wait, is that a thing in this game now? Speaking with Village Elders gives you experience for free? No way. No way. I'm on a horse. It's similar to discovering thing. Oh, no way. Okay. So currently I have 3328. Oh my good god, the speed! Slow down, you're gonna get us killed, donkey! Stop! Cease and desist, donkey. Cease and desist. Hmm. Okay. Do you want to join me? It's still 3328. Shipsy fed. Nope. Not in this one. What did we get? We oh, got a rogue, nice. And he's gonna be in the infantry department. Infantry, good. All's good, Thorn. Solve the mystery. Man, that donkey's lame as fuck. And I'm not talking about the fact that that it's injured. <sighs> okay, maybe I'm gonna get a shit ton of cash for the one prisoner that I have. Hello, Commander Joel Mormont. It's good to see you alive. Here you go. 84 silver stags. I guess that's a start. Saves me an arena trip. Now I just need around 400 more for a short bow. Welcome back, Erlaine. Haven't missed much. I'm still in the arenas. Doing my shtick. Did I level up my care? Yes, I did. Okay. Critical. Wow, usually I, I am on the receiving end of criticals. It's amazing that I can do criticals as well. Just glorious. Mmm, mmm, that chamber, though. Okay, I feel like I should be attacking from different sides when I can. Because sometimes they... Sometimes. Most of the times they seem to 
get a impulse of attacking exactly from the direction I'm attacking. It's like they know that they can chamber. It's weird. Huh. Or maybe I'm just getting paranoid and I'm giving up to... Too much credit to the AI. Oh, 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 you little shit. Yeah, usually it happens. Mm. I always get sandwiched. It's a thing in a world of ice and fire. Check any brothel. It's the favorite position. Interestingly enough, I can dodge their swords when I back paddle it up. But yeah, I'd love to see more more of this, more of infighting between the enemies, instead of all ganging up on me like I'm a goddamn person made of fucking gold. What do I look like, a Lannister? Son of a... Oh my god, that guy's helping me! My knight in shiny armor. And there's the stab in the back. Mmm. -hmm. Good old Game of Thrones fashion. Mm, no. No, I... Never was in a sandwich position with anybody. Or Elaine. <sighs> oh, right, we leveled up. Glorious. Okay, so... Extra strength with strength guard. My name's Revolt Storm, I'm from the Stormlands. Oh yes. It is. Okay, um... I guess the best bet would be to go for power draw, just focus on those combat stats which are so crucial in the early game. And... I am not seeing a point to go in an Iron Flesh, because if somebody hits... I, I'll most likely die in two or three shots anyway. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Ooh. Ooh, that got super hardcore all of a sudden. Whew. Goose Fraba. Hmm. <sighs> Cheeky stealth ninjas. I'm gonna make you cut some onions, boy. Where did that guy come from? I don't know. I don't care. Yes, more one handed proficiency. Give me more attack speed. I need more attack speed. It's gonna save lives. Come on. Good. Okay, give me your shield. Wow, those were my own footsteps. I got paranoid that there's an enemy nearby. This game likes to stab you in the back. Stab you in the butt cheeks. Also, this is a spawn location. Definitely a spawn location. I need to take a step to the left. Around here. Come on! Good. <sighs> weapon proficiency needs to increase. Will help me... Having weapon proficiency will make me kill faster, kill better, thus increase my survivability. Thank you! I really liked you, good sir. I'll miss you. Okay. Alright. Try to keep an eye out for other enemies coming nearby. Okay, there are two enemies. Uh, one of them is not... Oh no, they're attacking me now. 
Why? God damn it. I wonder if... Are, are they getting aggroed because I'm holding the block button? Is that aggroing them? I never thought of that. At least we received 75 silver stacks for that. Let's experiment something. Let's try to block only when needed. Like right now. Let's see. Hello, Capper. Welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? Yeah, don't block. Let's see what happens. Maybe they're not going to get threatened by me. Hmm. Also, I should keep an eye on my six. Stop staring at my ass, boy. I know you're looking. Although, my wife will tend to agree with you, there's not much to look at. Well, at least I console myself. She told me that I have different assets. Good. Well, I'm the only enemy left in the arena, so most likely you're gonna aggro on me. Holy shit! I'm a, I'm a fortune teller. I can see the future. Okay, that one is not attacking me. At least not yet. I, I, I'm sorry, I apologize. I did not wish to kill you, trust me. Trust me, you are not my target. You were collateral damage, yes. Okay, Spearman should be easy to deal with. Nope, still received damage. Okay. Have been on your magistral lesson at university. You got bored to death. Blood transfer is not the most interesting subject. Oh. Okay, dude. Oh, thank the lords. There's... I think... I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just imagining it. I really can't tell if not holding the block button has any effect on the aggro. What happened? Did my sword get blocked in the wall or something? Because that was annoying. Okay, Des. All's good. Glad to see that you've made it out alive. Although it might have taken you a few times to, you know, live through it. And both of them are friendly. To each other, of course. Not to me. Oh, God forbid. Yes. Slash at me. Um, no, no, really. I should calm down. Take a step back. Drink a little bit of water. Hope to not get backstabbed in the meantime. That guy is angering on me. Nope, it doesn't have any effect. Nah, definitely. I barely held the block button in this entire arena. Which only consisted of four opponents. Uh, but still, it, they're still aggroing on me more than they aggro on each other. Yeah, both of them are now on me. Yep. Shocking, isn't it? Rodan Nakaya, thank you for subscribing for four months in a row, brother. Welcome back. Okay, definitely need to get the arming sword and get a wooden shield. Ah, damn it. Sweet moment when the guy doing yard, that sound is not yourself. True. But most of the times it's me. Indeed, Akaya, we will make the beautifulest baby. It will have my beard and your brains. Or vice versa, whichever you prefer. There is no in-between. No in-between. 
Okay, let's be more proactive. Let's charge the enemy. Oh shit, no! I made a grave mistake! Oh my good god, why? I regret everything. Okay, let's be more proactive more carefully. <sighs> yes. Laugh it up, Corin. Mm, I'm kind of scared hiding in the bush. Hi. Wapacha. No, oh, you stabbing son of a... Miscreant. Alright, where are they at? Okay, good. You. Son of a... Okay. Patch 103, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hitpoint Inn. My name's Raval, I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. Drinks are on me today. If I live to see it. Nope. Bad touch. Bad touch. There you go. That was a veteran one. Not even that deep in the fight. Okay. Hmm? You'll just feed on the graybeards. Blood to have your second life available back. Okay, cool. When they sleep, though, be careful not to get discovered. My vampire friend. I, I said it could be vice versa. I could have my brain in yours, looks. But there's no in-between. Ooh, get smacked from a distance, brother. Praise the god of luck, for the bush is dark and full of stabby swords. Indeed. Indeed. I, I bet it also has a guy named Garen inside. I bet. Whew, get, get... Oh, yeah, I, I can finally do that? <gasps> I can finally parry a chamber attack? Oh, shit balls! I am down. I no longer require shield. Actually, no, I can still need, need a shield. It's still safer with a shield. Okay, can I please pick up a... Sh oh, oh, okay, okay, yes. Yes, okay, good. Size doesn't mean everything. Yes, I am a League of Legends. I played League of Legends and I most likely will play it again somewhere, someday in the future. Because I miss it, okay? Sue me. Ooh, fuck, that guy sued me right in the name of the Father. Jesus. Okay, thank you, Agaya. I tend to consider um, that I have a lot of intelligent viewers on the stream. Usually the less intelligent uh, people move on fairly quickly. Except Patrick. Patrick tends to stay. Don't know why, though. Oh yes, this is a good start. Oh yes. Oh, sorry. You were not my target, brother. Whew. Alright, Max. Bon appetit, my man. Have a good, wonderful lunch. I don't know, Des. I feel like you are above average when it comes to intelligence. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Son of a... Okay. Whew. Yeah, I'm not really talking about, uh, you know, the educational system of a country, because, let's be honest, you don't really receive a lot from the educational systems in most countries. Uh, the thing that I'm talking about more is 
street smarts, maybe a little bit of politeness, um, just to get your bearings and to handle yourself around the world. That is what I consider intelligent. I guess so, Akaya. It is. It is a slow and insidious killer. That's right. That's why I try to stay humble. Hello, ya Yasuf Kutsal24. Welcome to the end, my man. I do have a question, Yasuf. Are you by chance from Turkey? Ooh, nice chamber. Oh, yes, fighting in the dark. Yeah, how I like it. Let's get out of the bush. Yeah, you see what's inside the bush? Bad things. Bad things. There you go. Hello, Tafa. Welcome to the inn. Since you've answered for him, I assume you're from the same place. Uh, Yusuf, I simply asked you if you're uh, from Turkey. Oh shit, what is that? Yeah, beat him up. Beat him up. Oh boy. Okay. Welcome to the inn, guys. An Edison gun. Okay. Sadly, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'll just believe you. Problem with education that is mostly pure information, not grounded in everyday life, and not oriented towards humanist approach. Indeed! And that's the same problem that I have with the educational system. Gabber. I am all for uh, the courses that we never got on. You know, how to do taxes, how to get a loan from a bank, how to um, buy a car, how to buy a house, how to vote, and how to inform yourself on how to vote. Stuff like that. Those could have been amazing during high school. Yes, congratulations, you are now the 25th Turk that told me that this game is Turkish. Congratulations. Okay, why did everybody decide to attack me? Ah, oh, god damn it, I was so close. There were just three enemies remaining. Damn it. Yeah, well, then I just don't want to succeed in our modern day society, Akaya. Mythicon Mythicondia, isn't that the smallest microscopic functional unit, biological functional unit in uh, in the human body? I might be wrong, I don't remember. I haven't, haven't had a biology class since high school, which was 10 years ago. Hey, it's a it's a awesome game, Yusuf. Oh damn, that's hardcore, my man. That's hardcore. No, I don't have access. Or I'm not really sure where. Oh no, 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 actually, I can't really apply to the closed beta because I'm not an active member on the Tales World forums. So no, I haven't played uh, Bannerlord closed beta. Also, I'm not even sure if the Bannerlord closed beta is out yet. Out, as in, even those that are signed in, I'm not exactly sure if they can play. Glassy hair? I just washed it and uh, dried it. Flavian, welcome back to the end. Okay. So, I have no idea what we did in the last arena, but we almost won it. Until four men ganged up on me and... Let's say there was a lot of mustard everywhere, okay? I don't want to go into further details. Hello. Hello, Darnold the Mystery Man. Welcome to the inn. This is a game your friend told you to play. Okay, I'm glad that he did. It's a very, very good game, Darnold. But I do recommend that you start off with the vanilla game. No mods first. Just to get accustomed to the game, just to get a feel of the world. After that, sure, sure, 
play as many mods as you want. Currently, I'm playing a Game of Thrones mod, just to give you an FYI. And I am so dead right now, because the next time... Yep, I get stabbed. We're not going to Banner Lords, but I like Banner Lords. I like to Banner Lords as a verb. Banner Lord. Definition. The process of banning a lord. I don't know. Or a lord that really has a banner fetish. I guess that could work too. Well, it does since this is the Game of Thrones mod, but it is one of the most difficult mods out there, my friend. That's why I recommend that you start off with a native game first. Yeah, that sounds like a normal life mod. Yeah, totally. Again, Darnell, I still recommend that you play the, the native game first, get accustomed to it, and then work your way up and play others. It's better for your progression, I guess. Ah, now we're getting, now we're getting semantical. Oh no, it is the big guy with the big dick. Must bring him down. And down we go. I am sorry, Yusuf. I don't really play uh, multiplayer mods. And I only play multiplayer with uh, my viewers. And it happens when it's a predetermined event. So, I'm sorry, good sir. I'll have to continue my current World of Ice and Fire playthrough. But thank you for the invitation, my man. You're a peach. Oh my good god, stop. Burying me. Oh Jesus Christ, he's good. Holy shit. That was a... That... That... Fight right there deserved its own movie in a scene. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Nice. Thank you for your help, mustachio man. I am also a man bearing a stash myself. Ooh, okay. You actually had accounting all five years of high school, so you kind of know your way with taxes and stuff like that. Congratulations, Akaya, that is amazing. I want that educational system. Whew. Oh, fuck nuggets. Ah, oh, seriously? Come on! Ah, oh, damn it. 